Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Simple, cute, and sweet. Stay tuned. Sometimes we do some very detail crafting using chipboard and cutting at angles and whatnot. Today we are going to do some of the simplest crafting that you'll see me do on the channel. But it is going to be some of the cutest and you're going to see just how easy it is to take something that's always around you and turn it into something that is oh so useful. And I am going to bring it in and just show you guys these little cuties aren't these little mini notebooks the cutest i love making the mini notebooks i love making skinny notepads and everything because i make a lot of notes i'm always writing down ideas and i love having cute things to write on and these are cute and these make me happy i mean just look at these they are so stinking cute and you know what they are i'm gonna put these to the side and show you guys they are the cut aparts that are in almost every paper pad that you buy so these are the three by four cut aparts and they are so simple to make and I am going to show you guys just how easy it is to make these and I'm also going to show you a very simple and cute way to present them as a gift or to sell them at a craft fair whatever it is that you want to do with these. And guys, you know what the beauty of today's project is? You are going to be blown away by how little it costs to craft something as beautiful as what we're going to craft today. This complete set, including the holder that I'll be showing you later, cost a total of 46 cents to make. And that's with me rounding up. So I am going to show you very quickly how I calculated this. So the paper that I used was actually only $4.99, but paper pads at Tuesday morning today are about $6.99. So I went ahead and rounded up to $7. There were 48 sheets, so it was 15 cents a sheet. I only used two sheets for this project. That's 30 cents. The copier paper had 500 pieces in it, it cost me $5, and that is a penny a sheet to make this whole project. I only use 16 sheets of copier paper, and that gives me 16 cents. So the 16 plus 30 is 46. I'm not even making any account for the glue or the staples that I put in each one because I've already rounded up here by an additional two dollars so that covers all of that this is a 50 cent project guys 50 cents that is unbelievable and when you see the finished product you are going to be blown away and I'm sharing this with you because I want you guys to see that when we craft using what we have around us we can do some very economical very beautiful crafting. So I am going to bring in these two because I've already made two of the four um, that we are going to put in today's set. And all of these that I'm using are coming from this paper collection. And this is by the Paper House. I got it at Tuesday morning and it is called Be Happy. And there are really some fun little patterns in this book. And then you've got some great cut aparts. Not every cut apart page is the same. You've got just oodles and oodles of different cut aparts that we can use for our crafting. So again, it's called Be Happy and it's by the Paper House. So to make our project, I am going to be using four cut apart sets from my sheet of paper. And so that means that I am going to need some four by six, just regular text weight paper. 
and in each one of the books I'm putting eight sheets so each book will have eight sheets of four by six text weight paper and I'm making four little mini books and of course we'll need our cut apart sheet and then we will need a piece that measures 11 and a half by seven and three quarters the first thing that I want to show you guys is just how simple it is to take this cut apart sheet and turn it into something useful so all I'm going to do is take my ruler and usually I cut this in my cutter but I will take my ruler bring in my finger blade and just cut that until I have this and now I can take this and I am going to remove the part that I want to turn into a little booklet so I'll lift this up and this is the part that I would want to turn into a booklet and you're going to have a cute back already so all I'll do is just take this fold it in half just like this and I'll use my bone folder just to smooth it out and now I have this really sweet little notebook cover that says live simply dream big be grateful give love laugh lots enjoy life okay so now that I have these are the two that I am going to be using for this project so I'll bring in my text weight paper I've already got six of them done and I'll just simply take the other two fold them in half just like that and I'm going to go ahead and do all four of these so that I can do both books at the same time and this really is a very easy project and you could sit in front of the TV if you wanted and just fold these pages and go ahead and just make up a whole bunch of little inserts for your book okay, so I'll take these two put them on this one and I'll stick this inside of here and I'll take these two, put them with this. So once we have these in, you can see that we've got some overhang here and that comes from folding all of those papers together and then putting them one inside of the other. Naturally, it wants to push it out. And then I have a little overhang here that I'll take care of. So now comes the fun and really easy part. So I am going to bring in my long arm ruler and I'll have a link for this ruler in the description box but it is truly a wonderful thing to have mine actually belongs to Mike but I borrowed it and I might give it back I don't know so all I'm doing is placing my staple trying to get it as close to that center fold line as possible then once I have it in I'll come back with my bone folder really smooth this out and I am going to just flip through this real quick and I'll set it to the side while we do the other one so I'll do it the exact same way so you can see I've got that overhang I am going to bring in my long arm stapler and the back of this one says there's always something to smile about so you've got a cute front and a cute back on these Go ahead and press my staple in. And I'm only putting in two staples. Now I can put this long arm away. And just like that, you can see that we have got two little books to go with the other two. So we will have a set of four in our holder so if you want to clean these up and you should clean these up you can do it very simply with a ruler and your finger blade or whatever it is you might have you might have an exacto knife but all you need to do is just butt up against the ruler use it as a straight edge and trim away the excess 
and you can see I've got a nice smooth edge here and then I want to come back and I am just going to remove a little bit at the top to get rid of that overhang that was at the top. And now we've got a nice little book. Very cute. Do the same thing with this one. So I'm going to place my ruler down. Using my finger blade. I'm going to clean this up. And like I said, I usually pop this in my cutter and cut it that way. But for the sake of showing you guys how I do it, I will just do it the manual way. And now I'll clean up the top. And now we have two cute little books. But I want to make this one just a little bit cuter. And what I like about this um, paper pad, and this is probably an old paper pad because I did get it at Tuesday morning. But what I like about it is it's got these, um, it's got sticker sheets. So what I want to do is I am just going to take this one that says best day and place it right there just to give a little bit of interest to this particular pad. So now I have four really cute little pads to go into my holder. So I'm going to gather these up set them off to the side and now I'll bring in the ones that I showed you at the beginning and I am going to show you the cute little holder that we have for this and it is this adorable little box and it's designed to hold four of these pads and isn't that cute that is so sweet so when we tuck in the top we've got this gorgeous little front and this is what we're going to be making to hold these. All right, so we need to bring in our paper that measures seven and three quarters by 11 and a half. And on the seven and three quarter side, we're going to score at one and three quarters. And then we'll flip it and score it at one and three quarters again. And then on the 11 inch side, I have already pre-scored this, but we are going to score at one and a half, at three and five eighths, at five and three eighths, at eight and a half, and at ten and a quarter. And then we need to fold and burnish all of our scores. Okay, so once we have all of our scores folded and burnished, we are going to need to get rid of two long rectangles here at the bottom. And that's where we'll start with our cuts. So I am going to just angle cut in a little bit. And then I will just cut straight down here. And I'll angle cut in a little bit there. And cut straight out here. So we'll be left with this. Now we need to come in and cut out these center tabs here. So basically, here's what I have here and on the opposite side. So all I'll do is come up to the score mark, cut down, and I'll angle cut in, cut down, and I'll angle cut in. Then I am simply going to reduce the size of that to that. I'll flip it over to this side and repeat that process. Go up to your score mark, and just do what we did on the other side. And then for these, we are going to cut in this direction. So we'll go up to the second score mark and we're going to cut down in this direction. So I'll go up to that score mark, drag my finger blade down. I can go ahead and angle in at this point. And then here's my fold. So all I'm going to do is basically cut beyond that fold halfway down. And I'll do the same thing here. So I'll go up to the second score mark, pull down, 
I can angle in, angle in here, and trim that down. Then I will have this piece here, which is the piece that will fold in. And basically what I'll do is just go in a little bit on that, just to make it easier to fold. Now, let's get our glue. And I am going to place glue on this little flap here, fold it in. This is just going to give me a nice finish to my edge. And I can fold this up and I am going to place glue on these pieces here. And now I'll bring this piece up and I am going to get it stuck down so that it's nice and even at the bottom use my bone folder to go inside and then I will do the same thing on this side so I want it to be nice and even here at the bottom bone folder the inside and now I'll place glue on this piece and I'm going to place it down, making sure that I have it nice and even at the top. And then I want to make sure that I get a very good stick on this. And I'll do the same thing over here. Very quick and easy box. So let's fold it over, make sure that we get it nice and even here, and I'll bone fold it to get it nice and stuck. And now we have our beautiful little box. So let's fold in those sides, fold that in, and you can see we have a really cute little box. And now we can open it up take our wonderful little notebooks, place them on the inside. You can get four in here comfortably. You can probably even get a fifth one in if you want it. And then we can fold that down. And now I am going to do just a very light decoration to the front using the sticker sheet. And I think what I want to do is I am going to just break this up a little bit using this today sticker and these stickers are kind of old so I'm adding some glue to them otherwise they're not going to stick the way that I want them to so I am going to take this piece place it right there make sure I've got it straight open that up so I can just press down now I'll trim off the excess And already that's looking very cute. And I think I am going to go with the bird. Let me just double check. Oh yes, that is going to work. So I'm gonna put some glue on him because he's an old sticker too. And I don't want these to come up. So now I'll just take this cute little bird. He is just so stinking cute. Place him down, just like that. I'm gonna put my hand on the inside just to kind of press that glue down. Make sure everything sticks. And we now have this really sweet little box set of mini notebooks. So I'll take them out and bring the other one in and take him out so that y'all can see all of this cuteness. Isn't that just an adorable little set. So guys, these are the things that we can make with what's around us. You don't have to have any fancy tools to be able to make this. All you need is a paper pad that has some cut-aparts in it and scissors, 
glue, tape, stapler. And you've got a really cute little project. And you know what? This really is craft fair ready. This is very cute. This is also a thinking of you ready gift or a birthday gift. This is really a fun, quick little project. And I absolutely love making these because I think that they are just so stinking cute. And you saw how quick it was for me to make it. So I hope that you guys have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day and happy, happy, happy crafting.